In this video, we are going to be using Tinkercad to design ourselves a race car. Now this race car can be 3D printed and it will end up looking something like the one you see on your screen right now. Just to show you what it looks like in Tinkercad, when it's all done, here it is. So you can see we do need to print it in um, different sections. So we've got the body section all done up in one hit, but it's the wheels that we need to do separately. Okay, so we print all these parts separately. Once it's all printed, we stick it all together and assemble it into the final copy like this. Alrighty, so let's get started on making this. I'm going to do this tutorial over two videos. In the first video, I'm just going to make the body section of the car, so the red section here. And then in the next video, I'm going to do everything associated with the wheels. So load up Tinkercad.com, sign into your free account, um, and click on the Create New Design button once you're in your account. And that will bring up an empty document ready for you to start work. So on our work plane, where we build our project, the first shape I want you to bring out comes from our basic shape menu over here on the right, and it's the yellow pyramid. So click on the pyramid and dump it onto your page. Now when you click on your pyramid, we're going to click on the little white box at the top first of all to change the height to 75 millimeters. Type in 75 into the box and press enter. Clicking on the bottom right corner now, you can adjust the other measurements. So the right hand side measurement will be 25, the front measurement there will be 30. That's all in millimetres. Okay. The other thing you need to do is simply rotate this around to the left 90 degrees. Remember that you can type in this box here. If you can't quite get it on 90, just type in 90 on that box and press enter. And the other thing we need to do is just grab this black arrow and pull it down until the box on the right here says zero. And that will just position your pyramid back onto the work plane. Okay, that's the first step. The next thing we need to do is draw a box onto the page. So grab your box from your basic shapes and click it onto your page. We'll adjust the height first of all to 15 millimeters. Click in the bottom right and adjust the right hand measurement there to 25 mil. And then the front measurement to 60 mil. Press enter. Alrighty, so these are the two sections we need to build the body of our car. We need to join them together first of all, so I'm going to highlight both shapes. Go to my Align option up here, looks like a bar chart, and I'm going to click this middle black circle, and that will horizontally align both of my shapes. I can then click on my box, and just using my left arrow, I'm going to nudge it across until it joins up. With the pyramid. Now, is that joined or is there a little gap between them? There is a little gap there still, so I'll just nudge it across one more. If they overlap a little bit, that's fine. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my pyramid and I'm going to pull half of it below the work plane. So it needs to come down minus 15. So 15 mil below the work plane. So you can see you've got half the pyramid below and above the work plane. All right, now we need to actually remove some of this pyramid to make it look a bit more like a race car. We're going to chop off a little bit of the nose and everything underneath the work plane is going to come off too. So let's start by bringing a box out. And I'm just going to change the color, I'll say to green. And I'm going to position this right at the tip of the nose on our race car. Once that box is in position, move it to the right 20 millimeters. There we go. So that box should cover up the front section of our car. Okay, we're going to turn that box into a hole later on. There it is there. And that will actually remove the front of the car. But we're going to do that in a moment. What I want to do first is just um, draw another box on the page. And I'll change its color to blue. And I'm going to bring it down 20 millimeters. So you can see minus 20 just there. That puts it below the work plane. And I'm going to pick up this box and put it on top of my um, pyramid. And I'm going to stretch it out nice and big so it covers up everything under the work plane. It's no set size. We just need to make sure everything under the work plane is covered up. And what you need to do now is just click on the green cube, make it a hole. Same for the blue box underneath, click on it, make it a hole. 
Okay, and what that is going to do in a moment is delete those sections that were overlapping um, on the pyramid there. So highlight everything now and group it. So press Ctrl G or go up to the group button up the top, click on it, wait a second, and then everything will disappear that you want to cut off. So the end of the nose is cut off, everything under the work plane is gone, and we're left with a body section of our car. Okay, if you want, actually no, it's already joined together. So that's grouped together already. You can change the color if you would like. I'm going to go back to red. Red goes faster. Um, and that's the start of our body. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to think about doing the rear wing and the front wing on the car. Okay, so I'm going to start with a little wedge for the rear wing. I'm going to rotate it around 180 degrees, so it's upside down. Remember to just type 180 into that box if you can't quite get it. It'll look something like that. If you click on it, whoops, went around a bit far there. We're going to adjust the height first of all to 10 millimeters. Okay, and clicking in the bottom right corner, we're going to change this right hand option to 12 mil and this front option here to 5 mil. We're also going to raise it up 13 millimeters. That's about there. Alrighty. So that wing can now be picked up and brought over to our body section of the car and positioned right in that back corner. Okay, you may need to use your arrow keys just to nudge it around a little bit, but it should be sitting something like that. Right in the back corner of our race car. Once it's in position, click on it again and duplicate it by pressing this button at the top or pressing Ctrl D. And that just makes another copy of that wedge right on top of the original. So you need to just pick it up and move it across. What I want to do is mirror this um, shape so it's flipped around facing the other way. So we've got our mirror option up the top here. Okay, and you just want to choose this horizontal set of arrows to flip it around horizontally. And then just position it in that back corner. Okay, it should be dead opposite the other wedge. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So the next thing we can do is start to build the actual wing itself that's going to sit on top of those wedges. Alright, so to do that we need um, two boxes brought out. So back to your basic shapes on the right. Bring out a box. I'll colour this one orange. And I'll bring out a second box and colour it purple. Alright, starting with the orange box, what we're going to do here is adjust the height, first of all, to 10 mil. And click in the bottom right corner. We'll adjust our dimensions here. 10 millimeters on one side, and it's going to be 40 millimeters on this front side. So it'll look something like that. Clicking on the purple box now, just come across here. The height of that is going to be 8 millimeters by the looks of things. So let's click on that top box and type in 8. Click in the bottom right. We need to have 20 millimeters across the front, which is all good. Running up the side, 36 mil. Now I think I might have done that the wrong way. I have, so I need to switch those dimensions around. So it'll be 36 and 20. That looks a bit better. Alrighty. Um, we need to raise this purple one up a little bit too. We need to come up a distance of 2 millimeters. So not very far at all. Now, once we've got that, I'm going to highlight both the orange and the purple boxes. Go up to my Align option and choose, let's zoom back here, this middle black dot and this middle black dot. Okay, and that has pushed those two shapes together. You can see that the purple one just sits a little bit higher than the orange one. Now, clicking on the purple shape, we're going to make it a hole. It's actually going to delete a lot of that orange section as well. And then if you highlight both shapes again and group them together, that hole will actually disappear and we're left with the rear wing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually resize it. Okay, actually no, this is the front wing. We'll do the rear wing in a second. I'll just duplicate that and move one to the side. So that can be the rear wing. This one can be the front wing. So let's move the front wing into position. Okay, whoops. We just need to pick it up and drag it 
across to the front of the car here and make sure that it's smack bang in the middle. That looks pretty good to me. Um, now, if you want, you can raise it up just a little bit, maybe one millimeter. So let's have a look. It's sitting on the ground at the moment. Let's just raise it up one millimeter. There we go. So it's just off the ground. So you can see that looks pretty good for a front wing. Now the rear wing, we're going to make just a little bit bigger. So you need to click on it. And I'm going to hold shift while I do this to keep it in proportion. And I'm going to stretch this out until this number over here that's currently 10 becomes 12. So there it is. So you can see this dimension becomes 48 mil. This dimension is 12 mil. Okay. We're going to raise this up now. 22 millimeters. That should be high enough for it to sit on top of these wedges. So swinging around, we should be able to pick that up, move it across. And you've just got to try and position it. You might have to use your arrow keys a little bit to get this right. I'm going to try and position it right on those wings, uh, wedges, and just get it smack bang in the middle. That's looking pretty good to me. I think that is pretty well centered. So zooming back now, we've got a front wing and a rear wing looking pretty good. So I'm going to highlight all of those and group them together. That will just make everything the one color. And that's fine. Next thing I'm going to make are the air intakes. So we need to use a shape called a paraboloid for that. So here's our paraboloids in our basic shapes. I'm going to put one on the screen here. We're going to adjust its height to 12 millimeters. And its sizes, both sizes here, need to be 15 mil. So we've got a 15 mil diameter. I'll just change that color to a, say blue. I'm going to bring a second paraboloid out now. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. So the height is going to be 40 mil, double its size. And the other dimensions need to be uh, 15 as well. So 15 mil diameter. There we go. I might change the color of that to, let's just go a goldy kind of color. Oh, that's looking pretty good. We're going to rotate both of these now onto their sides. So just highlight both paraboloids and swing them around 90 degrees. Okay, be a good idea now to bring this blue one um, back down to earth. So let's bring him back down so he's level on the work plane. Pretty sure this guy's level on the work plane. Yep. So both our paraboloids are turned onto their side and sitting on the work plane. Now what we need to do is align them. So I'm going to highlight both paraboloids, go to my align option and choose this middle black circle. And then I'm going to push my blue one back inside of the yellow one, like so. It looks something like that. Okay, I use my arrow keys to nudge that blue one in. Now with the blue one selected, I'm going to make it a hole. And then I'm going to highlight both of those paraboloids and group them together. And that will make that hole disappear. And we've got a pretty sweet looking air intake right there. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to duplicate this. So I'm going to make two more copies. So I'm going to press that duplicate button twice. So we've got three in total. We're going to raise one of these. So I'll just make this back one here. I'm going to raise it eight millimeters. That's going to come up eight millimeters into the sky. All right. And basically all we need to do now is we need to um, move these air intakes into positions on the car. So let's start with this top one. Okay, it's going to sit pretty much in the middle of our body there. We don't want it to go, whoops, zoomed in too far there. We don't want it to go past the end of our car. So make sure that it's not going anywhere past it. We do also want it in the center. So feel free to just nudge it about until you think that is pretty well centered. I guess you could probably highlight both those shapes and align them in the center, like so. Does that work? It seems to push the air intake off to one side more than anything. I might just nudge it back over with my arrow key. How does that look from front on? There we go, it looks pretty good like that. So that's the rear air intake. We want these two guys now to go on either side, so just Bring them across, 
And now it's probably easy to have a look from the side on where they're going. You'll probably want to have a fair chunk of these hiding inside of the car. Again, something like that looks pretty good. Okay, you can see this air intake is a bit further forward than the one sitting on top. Let's go around the other side and make sure it's in a similar position. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So we've got our air intakes um, almost spot on. That looks about right to me. Okay, so once you've got your air intakes on, select all of the car again and group it together. And it will all become the one colour. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. That is the body section of our car all done. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to come back in a second video and I'm going to show you how to do everything related to the wheels. So I'll catch you then.